Hello friends, in our previous videos we discussed about binary trees and different types of binary trees. In this session we will discuss about binary search tree and its implementation. What is a binary search tree? Binary search tree is of type binary tree in which any given node will have at most two children. Also, data is organized in such a way that for any given node, its left subtree node data will be less than its parent node data. On right subtree node data will be greater than its parent node data. Here is an example of binary search tree and it is called root node. Any given node has at most two children and data also organized in such a way that if you take root nodes data 33 and all it left subtree node values are less than 33. 18, 8, 23, 20 are less than 33. Similarly, all its right subtree node values are greater than its parent node value that means 39 34 37 56 are greater than root node value 33 it is applicable to any node you take in binary search tree let's take a node with data value 39 its sub left subtree node values 34 37 are less than 39 Similarly, its right subtree node values which are 56 is greater than its parent value 39. So this is called binary search tree. Now we will create a binary search tree using this data. So the first element is 88 which is going to be a root node. The second value is 42 which is less than 88 so that it must be left node of root node. Now the next value is 69. 69 is less than 88 so that we need to go left side. 69 is greater than 42 so that it must be on right side of this node. So now 69 must be the right side, right node of this node. Now next value is 110. 110 is greater than 88 so that it must be on right side and there is no node, it must be its right side directly. Now the next value is 128 which is greater than 88 and greater than 110. So that it must be again on its right side. 4. 4 is less than 88. So we have to go left side. 4 is again less than 44. So that it must be again on its left side. So we will insert a node here. Similarly 56. 56 is less than 88. So we have to go left side. 56 is greater than 42 so that we have to go right side 56 is less than 69 so that it must be on its left side so with this given data we can construct binary search tree in this way now we will see how to write code to implement binary search tree in this code implementation we will write a method to insert data in a recursive way. Create a new class BST IMPL. Create an inner class to represent node class node int data which represents which stores node value node left. It's a reference to given node left node left child 
node right it is a reference to given node right child reference we will introduce a constructor to create a node which takes an integer value we'll name it temp we'll copy this temp value to data let's create insert method which is of type public it's not going to return anything so it's void it's going to take one parameter of type int we'll name it data we'll keep track of root node as part of class private variable so we'll create a reference here it's going to be private node root initially we will initialize with null value since the very beginning node will be root node and in case this is the first node to be inserted we will check if root double equal to null in such cases we will create a node and assign this to root node so new node and pass data value to create a new node reference and assign this to root now we'll just have a couple of println statements to see what happens at the end of the program system dot out dot println inserted data and return because this is very beginning in uh, insertion we are not going to traverse we created a root and we are returning in case what if this is not the first element this is the second element or third and so on we need to recursively traverse through root node and identify the place where we supposed to insert this so for that recursive travel by passing root node or node reference i'm going to create a private method called insert node private returns a node reference insert node which takes node as a reference i'll name it root and data of type integer which has to be required now inside this i'll keep a temp reference of node which will be initialized with null i'll explain why this is required this is this reference i'm going to use to make recursive call references recursive calls so now i'll print whatever data comes into this method these statements will help me at the end how data is inserted so now what i do as per we discussed data is data will be organized in such a way that for any given parent node its left subtree node value must be less than its parent node value and its right subtree node value must be greater than its parent node value same thing we will implement here so if root dot data is greater than equal to data that means it is it must be inserted on left subtree so we'll print system dot out dot print and we'll leave it trace saying that it is on left hand side now what if the given node left side reference is null that means this is the right place you need to insert it so check whether its left node reference is null or not 
root dot left double equal to null create a new node reference and assign to its left node reference root dot left equal to new node and pass the value now return root dot left this is the newly created node else what if its left sub node is not null we will store it in the temp in order to make a recursive call so temp equal to root dot left at the end we'll use this temp variable for making recursive call so now we verified data and data is less than its parent node value what about data greater than its parent node value it must be on right subtree else we'll print system dot out dot print and we'll leave it right saying that it will be on the right side what if right node reference is null that's the right place we need to insert this node so now root dot right double equal to null we'll insert the node here root and assign to root dot right new node data and return root dot right else we'll store it in the temp reference tmp equal to root dot right which we will use it for recursive call now at the end of this method we'll make recursive call we'll call the same method again by passing temp and data value again same operation will be performed on the node we sent to insert node method again now this node has to be called from insert method which we created initially insert node where node is going to be a root node because anything should start from root reference and start the i mean and send the data so now let's print inserted data now we'll write a main method in order to test this code will create a reference an object called bst new bst we'll just call bst dot insert so 39 let's make multiple calls with different values and here we'll change values 45 23 9 366 124 90 46 now we'll run this code and see the output so now here is the output the 39 is the initial value we are inserting into this tree in, in this tree so it became root node now the next value is 45 45 is compared with 39 which is greater than 39 
so that it is taking the right subtree and inserted 45 because right node of 39 is null. The next value is 23. 23 is less than 39. That's why it is taken left side subtree and left node is null. It is inserted there. Now the next value is 9. 9 is less than 39. So it is started traversing left side and the next node on left side is 23. 9 is less than 23 and again it is traversing on left side of 23. Since its node reference on left side is null, it is inserted there. The next node reference is 366. 366 is greater than 39. That's the reason it has taken right subtree reference traversal. And next node is 45 in that path. And 45 is less than 366. So it is again taking the right side traversal. And here its node reference is null. It is inserted there. And this is how it is continued for the rest of node insertion. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.